Last week I was sitting on the couch watching some old movie when one of the actors said Our knowledge and beliefs are like our road map that help us avoid wrong turns and which needs to be corrected when it contradicts with our experience. Say what? So what the statement or the simile suggests Do it you fool, do it! Just go there, go there, we know the right direction. It states that the knowledge and beliefs that we hold guide us in our life and that they should be corrected if they were opposed. Someone might say that this is true and ultimately correct. This is true and ultimately correct. On the contrary, if you think deeply about it, you will notice that it might have some drawbacks and here are some of the things that I noted. First, the simile is avoiding the fact that our knowledge and belief differ from one person to another. My belief and knowledge could be true to me but false to others. McDonald's sure sells the best meals. No, Burger King is the greatest ever. Second, is this simile by any chance as implying that we can change our beliefs and knowledge? Third, there is this probability that knowledge might lead you to the wrong directions in life. I'm telling you, Ralph, you can always count on me for directions. Manhattan is that way. Hey, thanks, dude. Uh-oh. Fourth, there is that probability that we might not take into account our knowledge and beliefs and just to choose to ignore it. This, unfortunately, may lead us to the wrong direction. Ralph. I'm telling you, this is the right way for Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, shut up, I know the directions. But before explaining furtherly my own point of view, I'll explain why some people believe that this simile is true. People might say that this simile is true by relating it to truth. Now, the sentence does make sense. If you think that your beliefs and knowledge are true, then what is true will probably lead you to the right direction, and if something came up that is opposing this truth, you shall then modify it. So, our knowledge should be true, and for knowledge to be true, it must be coherent, it must mingle with reality, and it must also give us useful predictions and directions. We can also be aware that our knowledge is true by experience and time. So, babies are not delivered by a bird after all. For example, we have the knowledge that red and blue when mixed will produce purple. Now, this knowledge is true because it's coherent and real since it's based on experimentation and experience. So, if you wanted to paint a flower with purple leaves, we'll probably choose red and blue rather than green and blue which will lead us to produce the desired results. Those people who also support this simile claims that we can sometimes change our knowledge if we were convinced with that, and once we change it, it will lead us to the right direction. For example, I used to think that we humans are made up of bones and flesh and muscles, and that these three are totally different from each other. But three weeks ago, I discovered that flesh is our muscles. Yeah, so my first knowledge was changed when I received the other knowledge and that knowledge has led me to the correct direction of thinking. In the past, people used to think that when a married couple are not able to bring children, then it's the woman's fault only. Now, science proved that men might be the reason why people don't have children and that they might have that effect. So, when people gain that knowledge, they changed their previous knowledge and now they are moving to the right direction. 
and that is not to blame women for every damn thing. Belief, on the other hand, could be a true guide. Most people believe that if they stole something, they will be either punished in the afterlife or in the future. Nonetheless, this belief might have been gained through experience or ethics or religion. So since this belief is true, it will lead them to the right direction, so they either will not steal or they will not do it in public. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a certain falsity in the simile from my own point of view. One, for example, was the fact that beliefs and knowledge differs from one person to another. For example, using my own experience with hot chocolate drink, it is needs two spoons of milk powder to be delicious. My sister once ordered a cup of hot chocolate that I made and did not like the taste since one spoon of milk powder is enough for her. And so, it is wrong to determine what is right and what is wrong because people see the directions in a different way. I might see this direction as true and my sister might see it as totally false. In addition, there is this chance that some people might have the wrong knowledge and beliefs that are going to guide them in the wrong direction, but they think they are on the right track. For example, when I was a child, my aunt always wanted me to sleep early, so she decided to tell me a story about a monster that grabs children who are awake at night and eat them. So for a long period of time, I continued to believe in that even when my parents tried to tell me that monsters don't exist. And so, even if the new knowledge was introduced to me and that monsters do not exist, I was a child who refused to release my belief in monsters and I was walking in the wrong direction for a very long period of time. In Bahrain, it is a common belief that women should not drink water after they give birth because it's harmful to the breast milk being developed. It became knowledge that water is harmful to women who just give birth. Modern science has proven that a person must drink about 8 glasses of water in order to maintain a healthy body, which refutes the Bahrainian belief. As a result, Many women suffer from dehydration as a result of the traditional belief. Another thing that this simile did not take into consideration is that knowledge might mislead the keepers of this knowledge. For example, when I was a child, I was told that one of the fruit seeds is very useful for the body, so we should eat it. This knowledge does not seem bad. It is just the fact that when I ate that fruit again, I tried to swallow its large and big seeds just to take in the useful material from them. So I ended up by choking myself, which is, by the way, the wrong direction. Beliefs could be misleading as well. For example, Muslim believes that after they do their Hajj, all their sins will be erased. As a result, some people might sin all their pre-Hajj lives because they think everything they did will be undo after Hajj. Also, there is this fact that some people choose to ignore their beliefs and knowledge. For example, everyone knows that they shouldn't drink a lot because drinking might damage their liver. However, people just choose to ignore this fact and drink a lot. To conclude, I believe that knowledge and belief are certainly our guardians in life. However, they are not necessarily going to guide us in the right direction because they might be misleading, not true, or ignored.